Joseph says, I understand in ancient times, people adopted the gods of their nation and their fathers. I understand what we call Judaism today as the same. Therefore, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob becomes known as the nation of Israel's God. The Lord, I, I agree with that. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, or the God of, of Israel, fair enough. The Lord reveals himself this way, and that is how he is known among the peoples of the world. Exodus 3.6, Exodus 3.15. Uh, there's a lot of different, yeah. And the Israelites, both Hebrews and the mixed multitude, were the, to share the light of Torah with all nations. I'm with you so far, Joseph. Let's keep going. The Lord, uh, sorry, I didn't scroll far enough. Israel was to be a kingdom of priests. My understanding is to share the oracles of the Lord as priests among the nations. Exodus 19.6. Later, the Israelites' way of service to God would be called Judaism. Judaism, the word itself, connects the, to a people, Yehudim. Judaism may have been a way to express how Yehudim served their God. Paul writes, I was advancing in Judaism. And understands after the son was revealed to him, part of Paul's service to God should be to share the word with the nations. Galatians 1, 14 through 16. If what is known as the gospel from Torah could have been known as part of Judaism, why not identify with Haderich Judaism or the way? And he gives a significant amount of references like Matthew 7, 13 through 14, Acts 19, 1 through 2. So on and so forth. Okay. And he gets into the Torah and everything. So there's a lot of references here. The way. Do you want me to stop yet or do you want me to keep going to his questions? Um, well, one comment here I wrote down. He, it, correct me if I'm wrong. First of all, thanks, Joseph, for the email. Is he saying that the term Judaism comes, he says it comes from Judah or Yehuda, yep. and the people are Yehudim. But it's it's the name of the religion, or what he says it to it's used to express how Yehudim serve their God, right? That's that's what I heard, um, and that sounds to me that's over simplistic. It doesn't help us deal with boots on the ground first century problems, right. which is they're all arguing about how to serve their God. I mean, that's why the Pharisees and the Sadducees are not on the same page. That's why the Essenes are out at Qumran. Actually, that's this why, is, this, that's this, why uh, they're telling Yeshua, how come, how come uh, they're telling his disciples, how come your rabbi is eating with sinners and tax collectors? How come they don't wash their hands? Right. This is the, the dispute. It, it's not an, we can't just say Judaism because it's, fragmented and um, this plays, sometimes hostile. Okay, so this actually plays into the conversation that's going in, in, on in the chat room that happen, that that is talking about what we just talked about in terms of pronomian because um, you're talking about how the movement of Judaism in the first century was not a monolithic uh, belief. It was fragmented right. all over the place. And Brandon in the chat room says, uh, you, but are the Baptist or Methodist pronomian, going back to our previous conversation, he says... Um, if you attach yourself to a denomination, don't you generally adhere to their statement of faith? There is no general statement of faith for the Baptist. You have people who say, I'm a 1689 Baptist. You have people who say that I'm- You have to a, qualify it. I'm part of the General Baptist. I'm part of the Southern Baptist Convention. I'm part of that, you know, so there's all these different forms of Baptist. And actually one of the, the tenets of the Baptist, the Baptist denomination is that there is no hierarchy of, of denomination. In other words, each church rules itself. And so the point is, is that, yes, the Baptists, the, I mean, there's, you're going to have differences among Baptists. I would say that I hold to the 1689 Baptist Confession with about 12, 12 tweaks. And actually, the confessions themselves are not meant to be mon monolithic all over the world. In other words, confessions are written specifically for, a, usually for a community within a specific location. And it's usually uh, location specific in that they are, they are uh, dealing with specific uh, heresies and other things that are going on around them. And this is the exact same thing that we see in the first century. When, when people talk about Judaism in the first century, it doesn't work. And the reason why is because which Judaism are you talking about? Well, right. And I think what, what happens is people either consciously or not kind of just take the rabbinic, uh, marching order, which is, Oh, we have the true religion. It goes all the way back to Moses. We have, 
we have the oral Torah, which is the true religion, which is true Judaism. And it, it has this unbroken chain all the way back. And so people just see that and go, oh, this is Judaism. Right. But they don't see, they don't understand that the rabbis emerged out of a destroyed temple, out of a dispersed people, uh, and then had to claw their way up to, you know, until the year about 1000 or 1100 to really start establishing its uh, kind of own monolith, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Monolithic uh, kind of um, and, and look, station. It, and it, that was opposite of the Catholic, Roman Catholic monoth- monolithic this station. Conti- this continues on today because... Um, even, even Brandon in the chat room, he says, if you went to a Baptist church and started teaching, keeping the feast, would they, uh, would they allow that? Well, first of all, it depends on, on what church you're talking about as a whole, probably not. If you're talking, if you just want to use really broad brush, brush strokes. But the fact is, is that Re- reformation comes from those who push against the norm and the church continues to reform. We need to remember that the Baptists, the Methodists, the Lutherans, all these, all these denominations are less than, you know, 550 years old. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and enable those notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.